So, I made a huge mistake when I was building out my van. Last year, I turned my grandfather's old van into a tiny home on wheels. I lived in it for about six months, I drove all over the place with it, and I even tried renting it on Airbnb. I made a video about that, you can check it out if you're curious. But last week, I went on a trip for a couple of days, and I guess something a little unexpected ended up happening. Okay, no, uh, luckily I didn't get stuck in any sort of flood or anything. The van wasn't floating around the streets like it's been actually happening here in Portugal. Okay, uh, I'm just interrupting this for a second because I feel like I might be coming across as if I'm making fun of the flood somehow. What I'm trying to do is to, to use them as a bit of a tool to give you a little bit of context as to what's going on here in Portugal. So it's definitely not funny at all. Please don't take it wrong, it was, it was definitely not my intentions and yeah, I hope you guys can understand. But one night as I was sleeping in the, one of the stormiest nights, I got woken up by a kind of a weird noise. Uh, yeah, so there was water coming into the van and it was dripping from the ceiling and, and this, is a, this is kind of a big problem because obviously water can cause rust, but apart from that, it also um, rots all the insulation and wood and all that sort of stuff just turns into mold. And me not being the biggest fan of breathing in mold while I'm sleeping, which in case you don't know, is pretty toxic. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thought that this is something that really needs to be taken care of like right now. And yeah, right after I was done crying and complaining about how unlucky I was, I decided to actually use this as an excuse to fix up some of the problems that I've been encountering living in the van in the winter. So I'm starting a brand new video series, Winterproofing My Van. And this is the plan. So first off, I'm gonna stop the water from coming in by redoing the seal for the solar panel cables. In my opinion, I think that's where that water is coming from, so fingers crossed. Secondly, I'm gonna replace any sort of like damaged parts by the water that's been coming in already. And I'd be lying if I wouldn't say that I'm a little bit nervous to look under the, the side panels of the door. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. And third, and this is the one that I'm the most excited for, I'm gonna install a diesel heater in the van. And I'm not gonna do a basic uh, install like you guys probably have seen on YouTube. I'm gonna actually try to design uh, and build like a custom box for it that's gonna actually be on the outside of the van because I don't wanna take in space on the inside. So that's gonna be a cool one. After that, I'm gonna level up the insulation on this girl and <laughs> yes, my van is a girl. So I'm planning on redesigning the, the window covers for the back of the van. And I'm also going to install a partition between the living area and the driving area of the van. And after that, in order to test out everything and make sure that all the work that I did actually works, I'm going to drive up to Serra de Estrela mountain, which is kind of the highest mountain uh, in mainland Portugal. And I'm going to stay there overnight in the middle of the snow. So you should check out this next video where we're going to be taking a really, really good look at what we're actually dealing with here.